Hi, this is painter Megan Chapman, and I'm recording a short podcast, an artist talk about my solo exhibition, The Space Between, which was scheduled to be shown in April 2020 at the Helensborough Art Club in Helensborough, Scotland. The Helensborough Art Hub is a social enterprise which provides art classes, workshops, exhibitions, and events to the residents of Helensborough and the surrounding areas. You can find them at 77 West Clyde Street in Helensborough, G848BB. Of course, unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the gallery uh, was unable to show my solo exhibition. So just because of that, though, um, I didn't want the the body of work to not be seen. So I've just compiled 20 of the paintings together on my blog on a separate section of my blog. And um, today, I'm just going to have a quick chat with you about them, tell you where they came from, tell you a few of my thoughts. Um, First of all, they were started, the paintings were created in the winter of 2018. So I had just gone home uh, to Fayetteville, Arkansas uh, for Christmas and the holidays, and I had returned back to Edinburgh. And I was in my studio, and I knew a new large body of work was going to be forming. So I'm just going to go back to a quick little blog that I wrote when I was creating this body of work and a few of my thoughts about it just to sort of help me get back in the frame of mind to remember what it was like to create these works that make up this show. Uh, The exhibition again is called The Space Between. So this is from January 26, 2018. Go big or go home. How many times have I tried to make myself small? How many times have I tried to fit in? How many times have I tried to be agreeable? How many times did I try not to rock the boat? How many times did I not play my hand? How many times did I stifle myself out of fear? Too many times. Enough of that. Today's motto is go big or go home. Paint big. Dream big. Live big. Take up space. Take up space and make it beautiful. Take up space and make it bolder. Take up space with pure nothingness. Take up space with the edge of a charcoal smudge. Let the white envelop you and the blackness tell the secrets that are locked in your heart. Let the paintings pour right on out. What is enough? You are. Your work is. That black brush stroke, that swath of white, it's enough. So those were some of the thoughts that were going on in my mind as I was painting these paintings. Many of these pieces are quite large, larger than any paintings I had really painted up until this moment in time. Uh, Many of them are 100 by 120 centimeters. Um, Just Going through the online post, the online exhibition, I'll just sort of walk us through the pieces. So, of course, this will be helpful if you're listening to this and looking um, at the post. So the first piece is called The Space Between. It's the, the title piece of the exhibition. It's 120 by 100 centimeters. It's um, sort of a pale yellow with this charcoal line defiant down almost through the center but just a little off center there's a band of blue the canvas is divided up it could be a horizon line you're given a lot of space and I think that's what this body of work was really about for me I had just been back home in Arkansas where I was born and raised I'd had a lovely visit I'd stayed out in the country with my parents on top of a mountain there were skeleton trees and fog and this just rural wonderfulness that kind of envelops you. So much space. When I, of course, at the time was living in Leith, in Edinburgh, where my studio is, where my flat was, very congested, not that much nature, 
not that much space. Yet the palette is similar. Grays and whites and haze and har and trash and debris and and you name it. So the space between, it's kind of about straddling two spaces. Being from the United States and being from Fayetteville, Arkansas, and then also starting to really consider myself a leather, really consider myself here, home, in Scotland. And how do I wrestle between the two? Being of two places and being of no place. And what would my work look like? Straddling those ideas, those two worlds, sort of caught in the ether. Also exploring that idea of what is enough. What is enough to make a painting? Sometimes as a painter, especially if things are quite minimal or simple, these interior voices come on. Is it finished? Is it really enough? Will they think you've worked hard enough? Is it enough to to look like you've worked hard? These voices are really meaningless. These are societal conditionings. These are me trying to put my work in the framework of work of that clock in, clock out, which of course you can't really put art into. So moving on to the next piece, between memory and story, blues, yellows, again, cool colors, lots of space, but then there's this drama, there's this tussle, there's this black energy on the horizon. I'm going to have to move these through these a little bit quicker now because there's not that much time in this podcast recording. But I hope this will just give you a little bit of insight, a little bit of what I was thinking about as I was completing these paintings. So to talk of dreams and shadows, again, all this space, this almost implied horizon line of though, of course, my paintings are abstract these cool colors, these blues, these greens, these yellows, these oranges, and then this very organic, rich black made by charcoal powder and water. This stroke, these layers, these textures. Again, what is enough? Is that black stroke enough to carry an entire entire painting? Can I leave all of that space to then support the black stroke? Echoes in memory. Again, another horizontal drama across with these black strokes. You can see the way the brush is being dragged through the charcoal powder. But at the same time that there's great energy and force being pulled through on the horizon, there's so much empty space. There's so much calm. Only to disappear. Again, this ether cloud-like moving through from one plane to another the textures the shapes smooth and calm and quiet but still this moment of drama this moment of tension this moment of energy I follow the clouds it could be the sky it could be the sea it could be a desert it could be nothingness I remember, too, I was meditating quite a lot during this period of time, and I think these paintings do sort of capture this sort of nothingness, this emptiness, this emptiness that's beautiful and still, but then filled with with lots of other things going on just under the surface. These are paintings to look into, walk into, spend time with. They reveal sort of more as you look at them. But at the same time, they're quite calm, quite minimal, quite still. So it requires your attention. It it, it requires your time, your willingness to sit, just like sitting on a meditation cushion. You have to show up and do nothing. At the same time, doing nothing is doing everything. Everything I love, the next piece, a square piece, 80 by 80 centimeters, with this blue hard edge. That was another thing I was exploring with these, these sort of hard edges, these shapes, these triangles, but then this ethereal, fuzzy, black, earthy shape that still allows you to see the oranges and yellows in the layers below it. Everything I love is about everything I love about being a painter. And that's what this series was about. Everything I love about being a painter. 
return home. Again, about being back home, but then also returning back here, which is my home. These earthy spring greens, pale sky egg blues, or robin egg blues. Textures. This is where I wait for you. Black, gray, yellow, drips, texture, calm, smooth. This is where I wait for you, on the line, in the ether, in the shallows, perhaps a bit of a landscape, perhaps a bit of a a pool. You could take the title literally or not. Again, there are these little pops of color and these hard edges playing with the soft edges. Your Quiet Heart, which is a very large painting. It's 100 by 150 centimeters. And originally, I wasn't going to show this at Helensburg because it was just going to be too big for me to take over there. But since now this is an exhibition online, I felt like it would be nice to show it with the other pieces. It's quite sculptural, carved almost. And then there are some small works. Some of these were painted along with the original series, and some of these came after. So Where My Soul Roams is a 20 by 20 centimeter square piece, and it was actually painted in 2019. But the palette was similar enough, and the vibe was similar enough that I thought it would be nice to include it, and nice to include some smaller works in the mix, some more affordable pieces. Same goes with Small Gestures. It was also a piece from 2019. And if you listen, again, same thing, 20 by 20 centimeters. These have the same elements, but they're slightly different. If you look, you can probably note that they're a little bit different and show perhaps that they were done at a slightly later or different time. Then there's some very small triangular pieces, 21 by 15 centimeters. These were done in 2018. So either along with the large works that were mostly done in 2018, but slightly later. What is enough? The whole premise of the of the piece. These are more mixed media pieces with paper embedded in various textural elements. Lost moments. Try not to forget. And then there are three paper pieces. Again, with embedded elements, pieces of paper. Finding center. The wind is an ocean and the dark anchor. So I hope you feel like you've had some sort of experience. I've also embedded a song that sounds like what these paintings sound like to me um, and an album that sounds like these paintings. And maybe just a few of these words will help you um, to have a deeper experience I know this is really short, and if I was giving my full art talk, of course, I'd be in front of the work, and there'd be questions and answers, and I could point and go deep deeper into this. Um, but I hope this just gives you some brief idea about my thoughts with the work, um, what I was trying to explore, this idea of what is enough, being of two places and no place, that meditative mind. Um and I hope you've enjoyed this this brief experience. Uh, perhaps if you have any other questions, I might do another podcast about this body of work in the future. I do want to make note that this exhibition is dedicated to the memory of my friend and patron, David Ritchie. Thank you very much for, for joining me with this podcast. Um, I hope you enjoyed the exhibition. The Space Between Helenborough, Helensborough Art Club in Helensborough, Scotland, April 2020 the online version. I'm Megan Chapman, and it's been a joy to talk to you about this body of work. Thank you.